Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have the Philips Series 3000 hair clipper. Subscribe my channel for more videos. This is the HC3505 model. This is not a rechargeable trimmer, coded use only. It has 13 lock in length settings 0.5 mm to 23 mm. Here it says a trim and flow technology. We will find out how effective this is. No maintenance needed for this trimmer, no oiling needed. This trimmer costs around 1300 rupees. There is also a rechargeable version available, HC3520. It costs around 3500 rupees. There are manuals and warranty cards and the power adapter. The cable is 2.5 meters in length. The adapter is 15 volt 0.36 ampere. Now we have the comb. You can see the pointed tip of the comb. It can easily get in between the hairs for efficient cutting than a normal comb. We have a small brush for cleaning and there is no oil. There is no oiling needed for this trimmer. Now the trimmer itself. It's a large trimmer. Push it here to remove the blade. Its design is really stylish and really comfortable to hold in hand. Its body is made up of plastic. Even though it's a large trimmer, it's really light in weight due to the lack of battery. Put the top side of the blade first. Simply push it to lock in place. Now the length settings. You can see 1 to 23 mark down there. Simply push the small blue button and slide upwards. You can see the small pointers on either side of the numbers. Now it's maximum. Now it's minimum. On the bottom you can see a big power button. Slide upwards is on. Slide downwards it's off. It is really easy to remove the blades for cleaning. Take the comp and simply put it in, it will lock in place. Connect the power cord. You can turn it on. You can see there is a space between the trimmer body and the comp. The only contact between the comp and the trimmer is the two legs. So it will be easier to clean. And the hair won't get stuck inside the comp except when you cut long hair. This is the Panasonic ER206. I have been using this trimmer for more than 5 years. You can use it as cordless or corded. For the past 2 years, the charge won't last long, so I had to use it as a corded. And recently the comb is broken. You can adjust it from 0.5 to 18 mm. This is a very good trimmer. There are new models are available on the market, like ER207, which look exactly like this. There are two reasons added by the new model Panasonic. Number one. The maximum length settings of the Panasonic is 18 mm, whereas the maximum length settings of the Philips is 22 mm. Number two, when I cut the hair using Panasonic, the trimmed off hair gets stuck inside the comb. I need to frequently remove the comb and clean it. Panasonic's comb is something like a cover around the blade. It surrounds the blade and tip of the trimmer. But in Philips, the comb and the trimmer connected using two points. You can clean it without removing the comb. The both trimmer have the same size blade. Even though the Philips trimmer is larger, it is lighter. Now about the trim and flow technology they are saying. When you are taking short trims, it is really effective. You can see there is no hair got stuck inside the comb. When you take long trims, the hair got stuck inside the comb. But it is way easier to clean. Thank you for watching my video guys. Subscribe my channel for more videos.